Welcome to the future of video creation. Today we're diving into Google Vids, a powerful new tool that lets you bring your ideas to life with ease. Whether you're a seasoned creator or just starting out, Vids has you covered. You can access Vids directly from your drive by going to New and then selecting Google Vids. Let's start with the Google Vids basics. These are templates that you can use to create your video. Think of Google Vids as a combination between video creation and Google Slides. Or you can record yourself or upload a video you already have and put it together with the presentation. If you don't want to use a template, hit the X and you'll see a Google Vid that you can start from scratch. A Google Vid consists of scenes. These are similar to your slides. Your Google Vid can be up to 10 minutes long. Let's start by creating our first scene. To add more scenes, we'll hit the plus. Over on the right hand side, we can see our templates again. If you decide you want to add one, text boxes, shapes and lines, stock media, which is filled with sound clips, music, GIFs, photos, and so much more. You can add your own media directly from your drive, create a recording, and even begin to make a script. If you want your Google vid to have a similar style, you can select styles and adjust the colors. You can adjust the colors by hitting the pencil and then selecting the color that you need. Once you've created your style, you can add to your scene. So you'll now see my default style right here. When I right click, select background, there it is. Now let's add some media. Now let's add a text box. You can do headlines, if you're creating a presentation, like a review for your students, you can do key takeaways, Q&A, this week's recap, but I'm gonna make a thank you slide. This will be my last slide. I'm gonna make it larger. And you can see here, I can add animation to it. You can select format options, hit drop shadow and make it pop. Now I'm going to add some sounds. So I'm going to select stock media. I'm going to type in cheering and hit enter. We can see videos of people cheering, images, sound effects, music. I'm going to select to add the sound effects here. We can see here at the bottom that I now have that sound. I can adjust it. by selecting the sound and making it longer or shorter. This will determine how long that sound is playing on my scene. So now the cheering sound will play from the beginning till the end. Now let's say I want this scene to be last. I will grab it and move it behind the other. As you see, the cheering sound moves with it. When you right click on a scene, you'll have the option to add a new scene, add a template, look at your style again. To copy a scene, you will just right click and select duplicate scene. You can also delete a scene. If you need to break up a scene to maybe make it shorter or to add different images or media to it, you can split. I'm going to add a transition from one to another. And I'm going to make a quick video for my students on how to submit an assignment. So I'll make a recording. Please keep in mind that all Google vids can be up to 10 minutes. You'll want to keep track of the time right here. Let's walk through adding a recording to the scene. This is a great way to create multiple screen recordings or record yourself and put it together for one presentation. We're going to hit the recording option, screen and camera. The next thing that I'm going to do is select the tab that I want. If you want to share your audio, such as play a video or any sounds, you'll want to ensure that this is 
enabled. You'll also see your camera on the bottom corner. To ensure that your mic is working, you'll see the little white lines moving back and forth. This is how you will also turn your mic on and off. When you're ready to begin recording your screen in yourself, you're gonna hit the start recording option for the countdown. For this, I'm gonna walk my students through how to submit an assignment. We'll select the class or head to your to-dos. Either look through all of your classes or select the class that you need and then take a look at any of your missing assignments. We'll see our assignment here. We can turn it in, but we'll want to open it first. I'm quickly going to walk through this as a student. Now we'll hit turn in. Once I'm done making that recording for my students, I'll hit the stop or pause recording. I will stop sharing my screen. We can preview what we just did by hitting preview, play. So now we have that screen recording of what we just did. I can restart it, which means it's going to completely delete the recording that I just made. So I'll hit cancel because I don't want to delete it. I want to insert it. So it has now been inserted into my scene. As you can see, this scene is almost a minute long, while this one is only a few seconds. Take a look here. You can grab your photo, adjust the sound, playback options. You can make it smaller, larger. You can do the exact same for the video you just created. I'm going to add a background to make this look a little better. You can crop the video, you can reset the video. There's so many different options that you have here. Um, if you want to split it, you can select part of your video and you can split. So we have now made two scenes. You can do that as many times as you need. If you want to add additional templates, you can. So we'll Take a look here. We can select this kudos one. I really just want this first slide. So I'm just going to select the first slide. Then I'll move this to the front. And you can try as many different templates as you want. Once you have a basic structure, it's very easy just to continue to add different media. You can easily drag and drop different images, videos, audio clips, and so much more onto the timeline here. And as always, if you add a slide you don't like, right click and delete. All of your Google vids are automatically stored in your drive. You will see all your recent videos right here. And then you can create a new one by hitting the plus. Now let's create a vid with a template. We're going to select this test preparation. We can select all scenes or select certain scenes. I'm going to go ahead and select all scenes from this template and then I'll delete the ones I don't like. We can see that there's already a style transitions and a spot for me to start my recording. I can select a video or record a video. Now we can just record our video. Keep in mind, the first part of the scene is what will be on the video. When you're ready, hit start recording. Hi. And then we'll insert. And there's our video. You can do this throughout your presentation. We have a table of contents, so we can hit record again. You can select to do your full screen or just your video or just your screen. 
Whenever you need to make a recording or screen recording, after you hit the record option, you will see at the top camera, camera and screen, and audio and screen. You can flip back and forth to pick which one you need. The camera and screen will record your screen while having a little box at the bottom. Audio and screen is simply just your screen. And then if we select just the camera option, our camera will come on and our recording will simply be the front facing camera. If you want to see what your presentation looks like, simply hit play. And you can see that this video is only a little over a minute long. The sound, the audio is right here. And we can add more. So we'll head to the good luck. I'm going to add the cheering that I had before. Add that along with this. Just like with images in Google Slides, you can right click, order, send it to back or just send it backwards. I want the cheering sound to be during the entire part of the scene. I'll scoot that to start in the beginning. And I don't want as much music. So I'm going to go here, right click, split the audio, select sound, and then I'm going to take the volume down. So let's see what that looks like. And we can see that we have the cheering and the background audio. If you want to add closed captions to your presentation or your video, you can hit insert and closed captions. These will be auto generated. If you want to upload your own, you can upload file or type manually. We'll stick with the auto generated. This is a great option if you hit record and do a voiceover. You can also type in a script. When you're ready, start your recording. Everyone, this is what our chapter review will cover. When you're done, you can preview it or resume the recording. If you don't like it, you can restart. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. And now we insert. Everyone, this is what our chapter review will cover. When you're ready to share your video or presentation, you want to make sure that it has a title. You can hit share. You can share it with individuals by typing in their email address. Keep in mind, editor can edit the entire Google vid. Commenter can only comment. Viewer can just view it. We can download this to an MP4 to make it a full video where you don't see the individual scenes this way. And again, that is done by file and download as MP4. Depending on your device, it may ask you if you want to automatically save. And that's our video. Now let's take a look on how we can use Google Vids to create an assignment for our students. I have a, an all about me presentation or Google vid, and now I want to assign this to all of my students to create their own, but I want to change a couple things first. I want to add a video placeholder so my students know where to create or record themselves. 
You can add a video placeholder by going to insert video placeholder. You can then select the shape that you'd like to use. I'll do this one more time on my next slide. I've also added text for my students to enter their name. And just like with anything else, we can add the transitions. So now we have video placeholders throughout this presentation. Last, all I have to do is assign this. I'm going to head to my Google Classroom, Classwork, Create, Assignment. Next, I can either put in the link or go to Drive. We'll see. My Google Vid is right here. We'll see Google Vid. I want this to make a copy for each student. For this assignment, my students are going to create their own copy and make their own Google Vid. But they'll already have my template for them. I hit assign. You can make adjustments to which group, the dates, all of that as well. Let's switch over to see what that would look like for our students. Here's my new assignment. I can add create or simply click on it like I need to. And here I am as a student, I can now walk through creating this. Now as a student to submit this, I'll click add or create Google Drive. And now we should see that same presentation, but with my name first, click on it and turn in. We can see that it's attached exactly what it's called and turn in. Now as a teacher, when I'm ready to take a look at that assignment, head back to that class, I can select the individual assignment, student, and here is that vid for that student. And I can give them a grade, give them comments, return, and I can also open this in vids. So there you have it, the basics to get you started with your video journey. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out the description of the video for links to resources mentioned. Until next time, keep creating. You can find this and other resources on our Technical Learning Center by going to jcps.me forward slash TLC. Here you can find resources on Google, Infinite Campus, and our training opportunities, along with our link to our digital learning channel. This is where you will find our IT YouTube channel.